All right, all right. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's Chaddish. We're back at it again with the next critical thinking series, combining those defense runes with those flat HP healers. So, um, for all those that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, before Educate and Dominic came out, critical thinking uh, was my uh, way of getting out there and providing some, you know, insight based on my thoughts and my experiences, in addition to. Um, things that I've read along the way and tested, um, you know, to see if they work, you know, well and whatnot. So um, this particular one, again, we're going to be talking about a concept that we see time and time and again, people, uh, you know, discard and kind of throw in the mix. Uh, they, they try to combine, um, you know, their best units, um, you know, in certain situations, whether it's PVE or PVE, but don't take into consideration the fact of, you uh, the type of you know healer it is and the type of runes they can combine uh, to get the most value out of that heal. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do today is going to take an example of my um, arena defense, but um, I'm going to state that this is something that can be used pretty much anywhere, right? You, you don't, there's nothing really, there's no other situation that can be used. This is just a way of going about it. So, um, you know, in my particular situation here, uh, I'm going to be, you know, this is my arena defense here, uh, Vanessa at the lead, Orion, Theo, and Jasun. And so what, we, what we've what we always come to understand is that Jasun is a uh, an amazing healer, um, amazing unit all around, but uh, she is known for um, not just her Fallen Blossoms, right, as we all know, but her Amuse. And her Amuse is, you know, a 20% heal based on uh, her max. Uh, Sorry, is a heal based on 20% of her max HP. So what that means is, uh, you know, the amount of HP that she has is going to, you know, to straight up determine what the unit is going to get healed, regardless of the hit points of that unit. So how do you increase the value of that uh, particular setup? Um, you combine uh, kind of a hybrid rune setup uh, with regards to not just using the HP runes, but the defense runes. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and kind of show the stats here um, with Orion and then um, last but not least, uh, Vanessa. Where's Vanessa at? And there we go. So um, the biggest the biggest thing that I, you know, when I think about when I'm when I'm setting this up is that when I initially set up my arena defense, I understood that it's going to be exploitable um, like any defense, right? But I still... If I don't, if I don't get that one shot, if the combination of Orion to soon and you know Orion to his harmless prank, to soon buffs and then Theo, you know, one shot somebody. Um, if I don't, if I, if I don't get that drop, you know, then I'm gonna have to go the distance and I'm gonna have to make sure that my units are, are synergized well, but um, you know, uh, how do I say, work together well. Um, so uh, when I when I explain that, well, I'm gonna use my own example of. Vanessa, for those that are following my um, post rune remove it, um, you knew that Vanessa was um, before the rune. I just did a recent rune removal, right? But before the rune removal, uh, Vanessa was uh, 38.5k HP, right? Um, and 153 speed, and you know, in that, you know, whatever uh, 96% um, resistance, uh, whatnot. So um, now. Uh, the hit points, you know, having, you know, literally 40k HP after all the HP towers and this and that was said and done um, is extremely great. But if I'm using, if, if in my particular team, I'm using a healer that is based on her HP and not uh, the HP of the particular unit, then I'm losing value uh, in this particular unit inches soon, right? Because I, um, even though I can heal, right, for 10k HP, 10k HP, um is only a 25% heal on Vanessa. I'm not getting any value of it. However, if I take the time to play around with the runes and do what I did here, where I took an HP rune out um, and switched it out for a defense rune, and then I, you know, I obviously took a different, found a different combination of runes that it gave me the same speed that I want, um, defense that I wanted, and then of course I, I just so happened to have the um, guard combination to give me more defense. Um, it allowed me to still keep my hit points at a respectable level 30k um but then allowed me to go with a defensive route and the defensive route is not going to um i'm not going to lose value in going defense on a particular unit like this uh because of the fact that the heal of chasun is based on um 
is based on the um, you know HP of her. So by going to defense on Vanessa, I thereby increased the value of the soon, turning it from a twenty five percent heal to a thirty three percent heal or a thirty yeah thirty three percent heal, a third of a heal, right? So instead of instead of healing for a third of the life, or instead of healing for a quarter of the life, I now heal for a third of the life, right? Because I have myself um, a defensive room. And it doesn't take, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, um, go back and forth with it. So, um, in addition, um, same thing applied for Orion. Same thing applied for Orion. Now, Orion's rune hasn't changed, but I, I understood that this was the case um, that I did for a while. And, and of course, I had to play around um, with Vanessa through the rune removal. That was the kind of goal for this, this, this uh, month's rune removal. So, Orion is sitting at, um, you know, 22k. HP. So if I were to rock HP on here, there's a more uh, better chance than not that I would be able to get his hit points right around that uh, 30k mark, turning you know Chasun's heal into a 33% heal for Orion. However, because I'm rocking defense on this particular unit, that allows me to um, uh, still uh, you know still take a hit because my defense is is relatively high, but it allows me to turn that 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 um, uh, you know, 33% heal into a 50% heal, essentially, because of the fact that I don't have as many hit points for the heal, right? You know, think about the, think about all the defense-based units out there um, that are rocking, that have, people have tested out with, like a like a vampire guard set, most notably the, uh, uh, the wind uh, copper, I'm sorry to say, <laughs> the wind uh, copper is the one that I'm thinking about. I can't think of the actual type of universe, but copper, you know, obviously the, the goal is to, um, you know, get his, his defense, you know, as high as possible. But for units that, um, you know, have high defense can essentially, you know, get so much value out of, out of the heal because their hit points are low. You know, those light golems, those coppers, um, those have so much value, um, you know, being able to heal themselves because, again, their, their hit points are so low. So, um you know, in this particular situation, um, my success rate is, you know, probably going to be the, is, is the same amount, right? But uh, I find I find that um, if I run this on auto in the arena and test it out, I have more chance of a survival uh, with with this particular team because of the fact that I'm getting more out of, uh, of that heal. So, um, and again, even though I'm using this example uh, for my arena defense, this is going to play the same role in any other dungeon. This is going to play the same role in TOA. Um, this is going to play, like I said, the same role in, in now the Rift of Worlds, which is essentially huge. And so, again, um, you know, talking about this and kind of, kind of leading into, you know, what we're talking about, what what, what has recently been in, implemented with the Rift of Worlds, we understand that the Rift of Worlds, um, you know, has a couple of attacks, that the boss has a couple of attacks, and... And the damage um, definitely is going to, you know, depending on your defense, is going to determine how much you take. And, and essentially, for those units in the front line, it's been noted that you generally want to run a high defense, um, you know, a high defense team on there, you know, or, or at least not a high defense team, but, you know, have some defense on you, you know, have a certain amount of defense on you, whether it's, you know, 800, 1,000 or 1,200, depending on, you know, what you're going for, what level you are, you know, on the raids, so on and so forth. So... If you are trying to get more bang for your buck, more value out of a Chasun in your uh, particular team, then consider on the next route removal, unless you want to make the changes now, um, consider going with the hybrid. Um, depending on what type of unit it is, um, you know, some kind of a bruiser unit, some kind of a tank like Vanessa, or some kind of a support like uh, um, uh, Orion, uh, definitely see if you can play around. Uh, with a defense rune and still and still keep the speed and the other subsets to you want because I, I promise you that you'll you'll see the you'll <laughs> you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, the the value of of a flat HP healer dramatically increases um, when you use a combination of hit point and defense rune so that the hit point pull is lower. When the hit point pull is lower then you get more out of your chasoons. Okay. So um, that's pretty much it on that particular topic, guys. Again, uh, this concept is not just for, you know, the, this, this combination of the arena defense, but this is a combination, uh, or this, this concept is, is, is done with all flat HP healers, not just to soon, um, and all, you know, units that can be, you know, used, can get some value out of defense. So, 
um, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you all enjoy this. Uh, again, um, this, I think I'm going to be using like 130% volume on this one. Um, I know that we've had a, a couple of complaints over the past uh, videos that I'm uh, talking a little soft. Um, generally speaking, if it's soft, uh, I'm, I'm making a video uh, at a time where my wife is sleeping, whether it's early in the morning or late at night um, due to just all the craziness, uh, whatnot, and obviously I'm not trying to wake her up. But uh, I will uh, essentially uh, you know, increase the volume of the actual recording and we'll see if that kind of makes up for it. So go ahead and, you know, give your feedback down below. Again, um, you know, this particular Critical Thinking series, if you enjoyed it, please smash that like button. Let's get the word out. Let's get people going. Um, and a, a friendly reminder uh, that this this concept, this theory, is not something new and innovative. This is something that has been known for quite some time. But again, I, I feel like I, it needs to be readdressed because there's a lot of people out there that still don't take value out of it. Again, so big shout out to everybody that has provided... Uh, you know, some feedback on this particular topic. And again, for all my educate and dominate um, guests that have talked about this concept a little bit here and there, uh, thank you for providing that information so I can, you know, sum it up for you in this brief video uh, for you guys today. Boom. That is it. I am the Chaboy Chad, Chad's Place, checking out. Take care. We'll see you next time, guys. We're out.